the big, the bad, the ugly. If you are looking for a class that dish out huge numbers while tanking damage at the same time, then look no further. The giant is the answer. They wield human-sized monstrous axe, overwhelming enemies with their sheer strength and straightforward brutal attacks. They may be slow and lack finesse, but once a giant catch you, it's game over, as no other class can trade blow for blow with this ferocious behemoth. In PvE, the giant is one of the OG classes. Huge AoE, high damage, and great passive defense. They can clear group of mobs a lot faster than any other melee classes and its high defense makes it able to AFK a lot longer while consuming lesser potions. Small-scale PvP is where a giant does not excel much, especially in 1 vs 1. It is good in beating up noobs and if you outgear your enemies, but in a fight with a moderately good player, the giant lack any maneuver to avoid the CCs of the ranger or to pass through the shields of warrior and valkyrie. Giant is not a bad class here. It's just other classes has way better key to keep a giant at bay. This will change once Awakening comes out, but that's a story for another time. On large scale PvP however, then giant is definitely one of the top classes. Again, thanks to its huge AoE, high damage, and high passive defense. Unlike Valkyrie and Warrior that needs to stop and block to protect themselves from frontal attacks, giants just go in in the thick of the battlefield and spread chaos welcoming all attacks in any direction. Their weakness and mobility can easily be patched up by the other members of the party, while it's not so hard to find a group of enemies to unleash all those massive AoEs. The first thing we need to talk about, and probably the most important for a giant, is the skills. Unlike other classes where you fill all your skill slots, a giant only needed 3 or 4 in PvE, with Raging Thunder as main source of DPS which by the way has amazing cooldown of 0.1 seconds, basically no cooldown at all. And other 3 skill slots should be filled with skills that will recover your MP. This includes Headbutt, Frenzy Destroyer, and Giant's Roar. For PvP, it will depend on your playstyle, but it's pretty noob friendly as skills are very straightforward with a lot of super armors, meaning you can use your skills most of the time without the need to worry being CC'd while on animation. Some recommended skills include Lava Purser or Predatory Hunt as Gap Closer or Initiator, Fearsome Tyrant for damage, Grab for well, uh, Grab, and again Raging Thunder for spin to win. Experiment on the other skill slots to suit your need. Either you need more super armor skills or just need more ways to CC is up to you. Now let's talk about the equipments. As usual, we will discuss the yellow gears which will be the good starting base while waiting to get orange or red gears. For weapon, again, aside from Leverto, Ult Elish is a great alternative. For sub weapon, Hashus or Elish are great all around, while you can also go with Talis if you have difficulty catching your enemies in PvP. For armors, Grunil is basically the best yellow equipment, but again the most expensive, so for helmet you can go with Ult Talis instead. For armor, Rukaba is the best choice after Grenil, while for gloves and shoes, then go with Talis. For Giant, prioritize to max out attack speed first, then crit chance, then movement speed. And lastly, for skill branch effect, you can go with Serit for better PvE result, or Labriv and Al for better PvP. So that's it for now guys. Will you be playing as a Giant in Black Desert, or will you be playing other classes? Then stay tuned in the next video as we discuss the other classes in BDM. See you guys! Peace!